So this study showed that you can detect fear subconsciously without your higher cortical centers processing that fear. What are the implications of that? This is the spidey sense, isn't it? It's an incredible tool. It's an incredible capacity we all have. Obviously not as good as Spider-Man, but <laughs> we have this capacity to detect emotions in others. Not at a conscious level, because that would take too much effort, but at a subconscious level, being aware of fear patterns in, in groups, in your clan, in your family. And that gives you a few seconds or a few minutes sometimes ahead of you know what you need to do. That's remarkable capacity. That's a remarkable tool that comes to some people naturally, but all of us can have that by being aware of it, by homing in on that. How can it be a detriment? There are times when that sense of fear is so strong that it doesn't allow you to go to the edge of growth. That's an incredibly important statement because at that edge, that fear, sense of fear, for a lot of people has become anxiety and paralyzing. And you can do actually a cognitive jujitsu by switching that sense, of, by being aware of it, by knowing that this is a tool that you can use and switch it from a paralyzing, anxiety provoking situation to one where you say, oh, there's danger, but I'm aware of it. And I'm going to go to that edge and grow because all flourishing happens at that edge of, of growth, which is fear provoking. Absolutely. Beautiful.